Good afternoon everyone, in today's video we are going to give you a update on the big winter storm that's ongoing right now. We have blizzard conditions that do continue across Iowa and Wisconsin, northern Illinois as well. Uh, we had the severe weather this morning and severe weather still ongoing a little bit down there in the southeast. As the snow starts to go through Michigan, we'll be heading to the north and heading through the Toronto, Canada area, and then bring further snow impacts further north into Quebec and Ontario. And as you can see right now, we are definitely seeing a lot of snow across these areas. Is where you're currently seeing the snow while you're seeing rain as just while you are seeing that rain down here. So that's kind of where that line of temperature is. Uh, so you and we have been seeing that heavy snow especially across the borders of Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois And that's where most of those blizzard conditions are going to be with those heavy winds and heavy snowfall at the same time Blowing snow is also an issue up there as well. You are going to see rain throughout the day uh, Rain is just exiting central Illinois and Kansas You're going to see Kansas and Missouri is still seeing a little bit of snow on the backside But again areas of the Ohio Valley going into more of the mid-Atlantic You are going to see more rain throughout today and some more storms going throughout Georgia and South Carolina as well Throughout this afternoon and evening and this is looking at the GFS model currently looking again very similar to the current radar uh we are going to have that heavy snowfall continuing through this afternoon it should be moving out by the late evening hours as you can see still some snow on the backside around 9 p.m throughout those blizzard condition areas but those blizzard conditions are definitely diminishing as we go on throughout the next few hours um, and as you can see, Toronto is definitely going to see a lot of that heavy snowfall and a lot of winds. I do expect blizzard conditions across Toronto, uh, as well as Michigan could see some of those blizzard conditions as well. For the rest of today, we only have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms down here in the south. So don't expect that severe weather to ramp up really any, any more throughout the rest of today. However, late tonight, Mid-Atlantic will continue to see that rainfall as the northeast we'll see a little bit of snowfall but uh, before seeing that rainfall right after and that's going to cause really not much accumulation at all after that rain starts to move in after a lot of that snow hits your area and here is snowfall amounts still to come as of 12 p.m central time so this is about three uh even for three hours after the 18z came through um but as you can see snowfall is still to come throughout southern wisconsin around six to seven inches while michigan is seeing a lot of that snowfall to come throughout the next few hours as you are seeing upwards of a foot of snowfall still to come in some areas northern illinois could see upwards of five inches still to come iowa only has around three to four inches still to come throughout some of those eastern iowa areas while southeastern wisconsin uh, minnesota could still see maybe two or three inches of snow still to come again in the northeast you could see some snow accumulation but again that rain is going to come right after and that's going to really melt the snow off but again maybe some snow accumulation is possible before that rain comes it really depends how fast that snow band is moving and how much snow it's going to be dropping per hour northern indiana could see maybe six inches of snow uh, still to come while northern ohio could maybe see a bit of snow from this mainly the northwestern port of ohio um but that's going to be kind of a wild card amount with this snowstorm as it uh is as it is going over those areas right now with kind of a mix of rain and snow now after this snowstorm we could potentially see a rare snowstorm dive south early next week and as you can see this is gonna be about monday the early very early morning hours of monday and as you can see we're gonna see some snow here not anything super heavy but definitely you'll be seeing flakes down here as far south as southern arkansas uh even close to dallas may be seeing some snow as well and as we head throughout your monday of next week we are going to see a snow band that's going to be reaching from southeastern oklahoma up to west virginia and then that'll continue throughout the monday afternoon hours of again potential snow across those areas of reaching into the mid-atlantic northern mississippi and northern alabama you definitely will be seeing some flakes from this as you can see that low pressure does form in the atlantic ocean and this could bring up potential nor'easter as well uh with some snow as you can see there throughout next week that's our next storm that we are going to be watching as you can see bringing some snow to the northeast but not anything 
major of what we're seeing right now with the GFS model. But as you can see, maybe quite a bit of snow across the area and then a potential another storm uh, throughout some of those same areas, mainly more north in the mid-Atlantic and bringing a lot of rainfall to the southeast uh, for next week's storms, which are definitely smaller than this week's storm now as you can see like i said uh, you're not gonna see much snowfall with these storms but some areas like arkansas maybe you could see six to seven inches of snow i know that's a lot of snow for arkansas as you don't typically see a lot of snow throughout the year mainly in northern arkansas sees that snow uh, but occasionally this snow does dive south into southern arkansas northern mississippi and northern alabama uh, where you are going to see a deep swath of snow of we're talking seven inches of snow throughout that swath uh and now it goes through the majority of tennessee nashville area could see an upwards of three to four inches of snow as well while little rock again could see upwards of seven inches of snow oklahoma city area upwards of four to five inches and then tulsa seeing again more of the three to four inch range so again that's the area we're going to be watching for early next week and then a potential another storm which could bring quite a bit of snowfall to the tennessee valley again and that's going to be closer to next weekend so a little bit far out it was kind of stretching the forecast here uh, but again potential another decent sized snowstorm for the tennessee valley and that goes up into west virginia and the mid-atlantic now with this storm could bring a potential major ice storm across portions of texas louisiana going into uh, southern mississippi into central alabama and uh, we're talking potential power outage issues tree damage um with this potential ice storm that's going to be impacting these areas where we're talking and over a quarter of an inch of ice again that could bring some big impacts slick roads power outages tree damage um and especially trees falling on power airlines that could definitely be an issue as well i would definitely be weather aware as you don't commonly see snow or ice down here uh, but once in a while as you can see the cold does reach down here enough and this gives it enough to create a snow and ice storm down here and i do expect to see a lot of power just especially near southwestern mississippi and central louisiana we are seeing most of the ice and upwards of 0.30 0 0.30 inches of ice and uh, that could definitely be quite a bit to cause those power outages in upwards of two to three days depending on the damage and where you're located uh, but definitely we'll be weather aware uh, for early next week as uh, you'll be seeing that heavy snow across the mississippi valley and an ice storm across louisiana and mississippi if you did enjoy the update on the winter storms it is pretty crazy out here recently with the winter storms and tornadoes so i hope i have you i have been keeping you updated make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new like the video and share this with any friends or family but as always i'll see you in the next one stay safe